Welcome back everyone. So far, we've had a look at our Cake Shop application and learned about the core concepts in Redux. We've also learned about the Create Store and Bind Action Creators functions from Redux, which make it all possible. Now, let's learn about the next important function that the Redux library offers. Before we dive into that function though, let us first understand the need for such a function. Let's go back to the real world scenario we have been discussing. We have a cake shop. We have cakes stored on the shelf. We have a shopkeeper and we have a customer. The customer places an order for a cake. The shopkeeper then takes one off the shelf and hands it over to the customer. Now it turns out that the business is doing really well and they want to expand the range of products. The shop now wants to sell ice creams in addition to cakes. They purchase a freezer and store all the ice creams in that freezer. When it comes to the shopkeeper, the owner could tell him or her to manage both cakes and ice creams, but to keep things simple, they hire another shopkeeper. We now have two shopkeepers in our scenario. One is solely responsible for cakes and one is solely responsible for ice creams. When a customer comes in and places an order for a cake, shopkeeper one handles the request. He or she is only worried about the cakes on the shelf and is not bothered about shopkeeper two. When a customer comes in and places an order for an ice cream, shopkeeper two handles it. He or she is only worried about the ice creams in the freezer and is not worried about shopkeeper 2. What is important to keep in mind though is that the state of the shop is now the number of cakes on the shelf along with the number of ice creams in the freezer. The reason with this approach of having shopkeepers is scalability. In the future, if we were to sell cookies and burgers and sandwiches, one person managing all of that would be a bit difficult. When we split the job into separate shopkeepers though, it is much easier to manage. If something goes wrong with the number of cakes, it is also easy to catch hold of the one shopkeeper and learn what happened. Alright, now that we understand the scenario, in the next video, let's see how to implement this in our JavaScript application.